you can now use Elementor AI to help you create custom code. To get to this area, it's not inside the Elementor editor for a page. You go to your dashboard, you hover over Elementor on the side, and you click on custom code. And this is where you can add custom code. Click on add new, and inside of here, we can use AI to write the code. Let's give this a title. I'm gonna call this something like embed PDF because I wanna use one of the suggested prompts that it gives us. So if I click on write code here, it gives us a bunch of different prompts. And here it says HTML code that embeds the following PDF into a web page and a link to the PDF. So I'm gonna give that a go. And I'm gonna replace this with a link to my PDF, which is not actually a PDF file. It's, it's a smart PDF, so it's online. But this is for the 17 point WordPress launch checklist. If you wanna get that checklist for free, by the way, at the very end of this video, there's gonna be a little image in the bottom left corner. Click on that and you can sign up for this and get it for free. Click on generate code. It's also been downloaded tens of thousands of times. So people appear to like it. And here we have an error. Sorry, as an AI language model, I do not have the capability to embed PDF files into a web page as HTML code since PDF files require a separate PDF viewer plugin or application to be displayed properly on a web page. However, you can provide a clickable link to the PDF file on your web page like this. And that's entirely not what we wanted. It understood what we wanted and said I can't do it. But what's interesting about this is if we go to new prompt, didn't work. If we open this again, you'll recall it is the example they gave us. Elementor gave us this example and their own language model, whatever they're using through some API, probably chat GPT, says it can't do it, which I find hilarious. So let's try this instead. iframe for a Spotify widget, and that's my code. A lot of these codes that you add, you have to get the code from the platform and include it in the, your, your uh, code here. So this, this wasn't helpful at all. To embed a Spotify widget in your web page using iframe, follow the steps below. It tells you to go to Spotify, click on the next button, click on copy embed code. So instead of generating the code like it's supposed to, because it's Elementor AI on the code page, on the custom code page, it's supposed to create the code for us. Instead, it gives us instructions how to find the code on Spotify, which we could have just Googled. So far, I'm not impressed. Um, another use case, of course, is, I mean, we have Facebook pixels here. Let's just click on that. I'll tell you why I'm not impressed with the Facebook pixel either in just a second, once it's generated. So we've got our Facebook pixel here, and that's great. But you need to include your pixel ID, which is right here. You have to replace this text with your pixel ID, and here as well, with your pixel ID. Where do you find your Facebook Pixel ID? Let me tell you. You have to log into your Facebook ad account, find the Facebook Pixel, and it has this exact code in there with your Facebook Pixel ID already inserted. So my question is, why on earth would I be spending my valuable AI credits for Elementor, which are not free by the way. I've currently used 99% of my free trial. You have to upgrade to get more and pay monthly for it. Is it monthly? Let me confirm that. Yeah, you gotta pay monthly. When I'm just gonna go to the website to copy and paste the code anyway, like why would I even use this? I don't know. If you can think of a use case that I wanna use this code generator for, so far we've tried three in this video, we struck out three times. So if you can think of something, maybe something like I did a previous video where I created a sticky header through the code, but even then, watch what happens. I'll do the same example. Please write code to make the header of my website sticky. I like to use manners. Even when I'm talking to chatbots, I use manners. Generate code, and if it generates the same thing that it generated in the previous video I'm talking about, I'll show you why I'm not impressed. So here it just outputs an entire HTML page. So now, if, if you are using the code generator, chances are you're not that familiar with code. You want it to do the work for you. Now it's generated an entire HTML page. You can't possibly insert an entire HTML page into the header of your HTML page. It doesn't make any sense. So you need to go into this code, figure out what you need and don't need in order to make this work. And if you're the person who is using the code generator because you don't want to code, you don't want to write the code, I want to figure out the code, this isn't going to work. So that's four to four strikeouts so far. I'm not even sure what else to test with this thing. What else could be a use case where it's not going to strike out? Embed Google Analytics code, same thing, you gotta to go to Google Analytics to get your ID and the, the code is right there. So why even do that? Fire an event on button click. This might work, because you have your, your Google code for the Google Tag Manager somewhere on your site, usually in the header, and then this is fired. So this could work, 
potentially. But this is not something you'd put into a code editor like this. Like you actually have to add this piece of JavaScript. It's inline JavaScript, but it's still JavaScript that register, registers an event when this button is clicked. You'd have to add this to the actual page where this button exists and add it directly to the button. You wouldn't need that here. So that's five out of five strikeouts. Um, for the sake of thoroughness, let's just click on this one. And I can, it, it's gotta be a strikeout too, because you still need your Google ID. So here's the code. It actually puts it, oh my goodness. It puts it inside of an HTML page again. So again, you need to know what you need and don't need. What you actually need is this part, and you put it in the head section of your website, which is what we have set here as the location. You don't need all the rest of it. You just need this. And you still have to go and find your ID here and ID here. And where you get that is in the Google Tag Manager platform. And it has this entire code right here that you can copy with one click. So that's six out of six strikeouts for the Elementor Code AI. At this point, I don't know why you'd use it. If you have a use case that you found that you think this is killer for, please let me know in the comments down below. Let all of us know because I'm failing to see how I'd use this at this point. Of course, there's always room for improvement. They're going to iterate and make it better. But so far, it doesn't seem to have produced anything that I like to use. But there are other AI tools that Elementor has. I've got a whole playlist of them right over here. Those ones did not strike out nearly as much as this one did. And if you like AI in general and you want to learn how to use it specifically to be more productive in your life, check out my channel over here called the AI Underground. All about AI, all about helping you use it to improve your life and be more productive. Make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.